On Wednesday, Wisconsin's Tammy Baldwin called out her fellow Badger State Senator for refusing to vote on a continuing resolution and for his position related to Medicare. Baldwin claimed that Democrats are serving the economic interests of Americans, while Senator Ron Johnson is a threat to averting a government shutdown and funding senior citizen entitlement programs. Johnson is currently locked in a tight re-election race against Democratic Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes. His race could decide the balance of power in the Senate after the midterm elections. The report. <laughs> it's a very good report. Very yeah. good. Read it. Well, like my colleagues have discussed, Senate Democrats are not only working to deliver results for the American people, we are making it clear who is on their side and who is not. This CR is important to my home state of Wisconsin in many ways. But I want to highlight one thing in particular, because my Senate colleague from Wisconsin last night voted against moving forward to fund the, the government, keep the government open, open, and avoid a needless government shutdown. When we fund the government, we are keeping our promise to seniors who rely on the guaranteed benefits of Medicare and Social Security. People in Wisconsin work hard, and they have earned the health care and retirement security that Medicare and Social Security provide. Senate Republicans, like my counterpart from Wisconsin, have proposed sunsetting, cutting, and putting Medicare and Social Security on the chopping block with every budget every year. Senate Democrats will not let this happen, because we are on the side of the American people in protecting these earned benefits. This is part of a larger, clear contrast between Democrats and Republicans. Without any Republican support, Democrats passed the Inflation Reduction Act and gave Medicare the power to negotiate lower prescription drug prices for seniors and capped their out-of-pocket health care costs in the Medicare program. It doesn't stop there when it comes to health care including reproductive health care. In my home state, Republicans enabled and continue to support taking women back to 1849. Yes, you heard me, 1849. And keeping them there without the right and freedom to make their own personal choices about their body, their health, and their family. In Wisconsin, doctors and nurses can be prosecuted for, for victims of rape or incest, the health and, uh, uh, their rights have been taken away. The abortion ban in Wisconsin that Senator Johnson supports is threatening the health and safety of women across my state with delayed and denied care. Let me just close by saying, whether it's Medicare, Social Security, health care, prescription drugs, reproductive health care, we are making it clear to the American people who is on their side and who isn't. And now questions?